With a haul of 67 medals at the Rio 2016 Olympics, Great Britain experienced its most successful Olympic campaign in over a century. Team GB smashed their medal target and caused quite a stir in finishing second, above powerhouse China in the medals table. Following the remarkable achievement came the anticipation of continuous financial backing from UK Sport, the government body responsible for investing in the development of Britain's elite athletes for the next four years. In preparation for Tokyo 2020, many British sports were given a financial boost. However, some disciplines saw their funding reduced or withdrawn. Badminton was one of the sports affected. GB Badminton will not get a slice of the £345 million funding. This despite their men's doubles winning a bronze at the Games, becoming Team GB's first medalists in the sport in 12 years. Especially after they did so well in the Olympics. Um, and yeah, it was, a, it was a, tough, a tough couple of weeks when they told us. And even since then, it's been very tough. You know, I think it's hit everyone quite hard. The British shuttlers had put in one of their best performances at last year's Games. A quarter-final finish in men's singles and a bronze medal for Marcus Ellis and Chris Langridge in men's doubles. Despite hitting its target of a medal, the badminton body was stripped of its £5.7 million funding pot. UK Sport defended its tough decision to allocate funds to sports with a realistic medal potential in Tokyo. It's re it is really, really devastating. I think right at the outset, I, I used a word, I said it was catastrophic for, 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 for badminton and for English badminton and British badminton. Um, it's a big funding gap that, that we are working hard to, to fill and it will take some time to fill that. The news was a heavy blow for badminton England as their players make up the bulk of Team GB shuttlers. The administrators were forced to take drastic measures as a result of the funding cut. However, they were mindful in reassuring the players about their future. We've had to reduce the size of, of, of our world-class programme um, and we, we did that quite quickly. Um, and as difficult as those decisions were to take, what, what we absolutely had to make sure that we do is that the players that were, that were going to be here for the longer term needed to know what their futures were. And so, so I think, I think that was a really good move to, to provide some certainty for, for, um, for some of those players. Losing UK sports funding, England had to withdraw from competing at the upcoming Sudirman Cup, the World Mixed Team Championships in Gold Coast, Australia. It's an unprecedented financial situation, but the shuttlers and the governing body have decided to not let the setback stop them from achieving their targets. What we are clearly now looking to do is to fundraise um, our fundraising campaign, which will be to try to fill that void, as I say, that UK sports investment has left behind. Um, and of course, Badminton England using, you know, diverting some of its own money from other investments that we might make into, into the world-class programme. So, you know, it, it won't fill that gap overnight. It's, that's a big, you know, it's 1.2 million pound a year to fill. But, you know, we've got some, some fantastic partnerships that, that are very, people that are really keen to help us and we'll grow those partnerships over the, the next two or three years, hopefully, that will make us stronger. You know, I think, I think what I don't ever want to be is in this position again, um, where we have been pretty reliant on government funding to, to support our players. Although there is a focus on their current elite players, they are also careful not to sideline the development of the next generation of promising shuttlers. Um, and I look at young players coming up like, like Ben Lane, Jess Pugh, Sean Vendy. You know, the, these are young players that are our future. And as CEO, my responsibility is to make sure that, that we continue to invest in those players. And that's, that's what we intend to do. While other badminton nations are preparing and gearing up for Tokyo 2020, Great Britain is fighting a different battle. But adversity has made its shuttlers more resolute than ever to succeed, and they are determined to train harder and aim higher. You know, going forward for GB, it's really 
unsteady, it's uncertain, um, but there's no reason why people can't carry on, there's no reason why you know it, it, people still can't achieve on the international circuit, so uh, yeah, I just hope that it doesn't stop too many players. You know, the, the positive element out of this now is that we know where we are and we know what we've got to do and, and our job is collectively, including the players, is to to prove everybody that we can we can deliver medals and make this a sustainable program.